Hey guys, Sony Soy Sats at Sats and welcome to another cigar review. All right, today we are doing another Davidoff. What do you expect? Davidoff. 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 Okay? Davidoff. So, <clears throat> we're doing the Davidoff Maduro 2024 Toro. Okay? Man, I still have some of these glue that I have on my table. I kind of spilled this glue today because um, I was recording one yesterday and I used some glue. I don't, I, I didn't close it completely. So now it's all over this bottle and my table. Try to clean it out. Now it's sticking on my fingers. Horrible. With that being said, let's take a good look at this cigar right away, quickly, so we can get to smoking. Here we go. Davidov Maduro 2024 Toro 6x54. MSRP $54 in a box of 20 which comes to uh, $1,080 MSRP per box. Now, this one is uh, slightly different than the previous version. The previous version has a Nicaraguan Habano wrapper, and this time they have a Ecuadorian Maduro wrapper over a Mexican binder and a filler from Dominican. So the flavor might be a little bit different. They're saying that they're using the high primary quartet seven leaves and... And, and you know, means nothing really. And this particular one looks dark and mean. It looks dark and mean. The cap looks kind of like off. Whoever wrote that did this one, the caps look like that. And the bottom looks like that somebody pulled two stem out of it. So we'll see. So this being the limited edition, I'm I have good hope for it. I have great hope for it. So we are gonna, we are gonna enjoy the cigar because I spend good money for this. In my local shop, this cigar is 70 something dollars before tax. So be really careful where you buy this. If you buy this from New York, you're spending uh, almost $90 for this cigar. It's an earthy stinkiness. A little bit, oh, pepper. A little bit pepper. A lot of pepper. <laughs> yeah, a lot of pepper. <clears throat> With that sneeze, should I cut it out? Yeah, I should leave it in this. So you guys know there's actually pepper in here. That I just smelled. It was really bad. Ooh, burn my nose a little bit. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I thought I tasted something, but I didn't. That's a buttery cut. What the hell? I'm gonna cut it a little bit more. I'm gonna. I like the draw. Uh, uh, there we go. Very good. Good draw. Ooh. It's like a spicy, earthy cocoa with chocolate taste to it. A lot, well, a lot of pepper too. A lot of pepper. Ooh, this thing is spicy. Wow, spicy, very spicy. No, uh, I don't even know where the wind is now. There it is. You know what? Uh. 
There we go. Close the sights really quickly. Spill the fire. Spill the fire. And then. Ooh, dark. Talk about dark. Super peppery. Talk about peppery. It's a lot of pepper. A lot of white pepper. Ah, oh, that's just so much pepper. Pepper. A lot of pepper. Waiting for that pepper to die down so I can have some flavor. Hold on, let me let me wash that off a little bit. I see. A little bit of fruitiness. A little bit of cream. And a lot of pepper. Like just Overabundance of pepper. There, there's a little bit earthiness. Some sort of generic nutty flavor. <clears throat> Woodsiness. That's all I can get. It's so peppery. So let me smoke one third. I'll be right back. Okay, so we had the first third. Let me dust this off. First third. Initially, a lot of pepper. It's all pepper. Pepper, 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 pepper. Okay, burns your nose off pepper. All right, like about medium plus strength, I think. Now, pepper came down. And taste some like fruitiness, like dry raisin kind of fruitiness. Uh, you're gonna get a little bit of honey, you gotta get nuts, a little bit of saltiness. Uh, obviously, there's still pepper, a little bit of earthiness, woodsiness, cream, and chocolate. Chocolate. Dark chocolate. A sweet dark chocolate. Oh my god, that pepper. I'm not gonna have nose after this. Uh, I'm not gonna. It's on the sweet side, but that pepper just kills. You gotta be very careful with your retro hill. It will burn your nose off. Okay, it will burn your nose off. Now, is it enjoyable? Yes. So, I'm gonna keep enjoying it. Second, third. Let's hope that pepper died down even more. <clears throat> this does dry up your mouth a little bit. But so far, okay. So far, okay. Now, is this $50 a cigar? $55? $54? Mm. Mm. I don't think I can go that high. And that's a precursor. I love Davidoff, but I can tell you a lot of time I wouldn't give... Davidoff, this kind of price range, what it is, because it, it's not. It's usually because for whatever reason, they want to raise the price really high so that it kind of balances up with the availability with limited edition. So the cigar will always be available, yet it's limited because people won't buy a lot of it on the spot. And people who does wouldn't have to worry about it. So, so yeah, I am going to finish. Second third, and I'll be right back. Ooh. Second third. Second third, the, the flavor died down a little bit. You have to retro hair to get some flavor. Still good. Honey, woodsy. Um, the pepper died down, but the strength is still there. Just honey and woodsy it doesn't justify the strength for me. The dry fruit still there if you ride your hill. 
enjoyable, but but it's lacking something. Something this like you know you would think that it has some pungent taste, but it's actually a more relaxing taste than you think. There is still chocolate. It's sweet and nice. I just feel like it's missing something. When you smoke a dark cigar, you're you're, you're looking for something. Right? You're looking for something pungent. This is not very pungent, but it's enjoyable. Just not crazy. You know, it's kind of light flavored. If I if I would just say that light flavor. Okay. So yeah, with the last third, I'm gonna take off this bed. It's close to be burned. Let's take that off first. <clears throat> There you go. Just a one ban. Maduro. Maduro. If I was to rate the cigar as of now, it would be something like $25. It wouldn't be $55. And I don't think I can get too close to $55, even with the last stir being really amazing. I don't know. But at, at this point, it's $25. And I would think it's a more reasonable price at a $25 than a $54. Makes no sense to be that expensive. Uh, for a Maduro. Uh, and if you were to ask me in terms of the first two third of enjoyment, you know, I would honestly rather buy a late hour. I'm not going to be lying. I, I probably enjoy late hour a little bit more. So, last third. We'll be right back. All right, last third. Now, I think because I'm trying to get the flavor out of it, I smoke it a little bit too fast. I just slow down. This thing, it has very close to the full strength if you keep smoking on it. It's, it creeps out on you slowly. It doesn't, it didn't get you sick, but it gets you borderline. If you try to get that flavor, you try to, oh, I'm a flavor. No, no flavor. Okay. All right. So uh, I guess still get a little bit of woodsiness, still get a pepper, still get a little bit of sweetness, but the flavor died down so much that it makes you want to keep puffing on it so that you can get the flavor to continue. Uh, with that being said, uh, the cigar didn't meet my expectation for a $54 cigar. It, it's more like, um, I, I would rather buy a late hour, which has more pungent flavor, more uh, throughout the whole entire cigar. And this one, it kind of died down for me. It didn't do what it's supposed to do or uh, justify the, the creeping up uh, strength. So for me, I, I'm going to lower that a little bit. I'm going to lower it to... A $22 for my enjoyment. $22. Still a premium cigar. Still good. It just didn't meet my expectation for that strength. Uh, for the the enjoyment. How much I can enjoy it during a conversation. It's really not there. It's really not there. Um, I'm giving a 22 It's already, I, I would say, generous. In, 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 in a little bit of almost bias. To, to say that, that it's got the flavor that I'm looking for. It's just not strong enough. And it is a long smoking cigar, like two hour, and I'm like, you know, I, I still got a little bit left, two hour in. So that gives you the time of smoke. You have to slow down to smoke it. And it's got flavor. It just didn't meet my expectation. It died down a little bit. Uh, the, there's too much pepper in the beginning. All that kind of add up. So $22 is probably where I'm more comfortable with. Uh, and it wouldn't be a cigar I smoke most of the time. I, I would rather smoke a late hour, all right, in, in terms of that. So this is more uh, like a gimmicky kind of thing. They 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 try something new They for the for the Maduro lovers. But like it get, you can get a, a late hour and, and, and get better experience out of it, okay? So yeah, I, I want to put that out there so that you know, you know, when you buy the cigar, think, think of it. Think, Buy one and try it and and, and 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 just go back and try a late hour. Tell me that late hour didn't give you a better experience. I, I really think late hour does. Okay. So in that being said, that should be where this uh, review ends. So that will be it for the review. If you like it, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share. Uh, make sure to check out Swag. Check out our podcast. Uh, you know, check out membership so that you can take a look at our ER trip, that kind of stuff. Get early access. If not, you know, we always have free videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.